All right, hi everybody. This is the third and final video in this series on bridge design within Fusion 360. Um, in the previous two videos, I showed you how to create a diagonal that had some overlap, like what you see here. And I also showed you in the second video how to do a diagonal that had diagonal cuts in here, kind of angled cuts that would be mounted in between the trusses instead of outside the trusses. You'll notice I've left those in place, even though that would be kind of weird to kind of mix and match those two methods, but that doesn't matter for this video. What I want to show you is, look, we have a completed truss how do we take that truss and then create the second one out of it? And so I don't have to recreate and, and just, you know, how can I make this process easy? Okay. At some point in time, you have to create beams that actually go across and connect the left to right. So I have put one in there. It'd be up to you to figure out where the rest of them are going to go. And in fact, you'd have to do things like figure out how do you want to handle a situation like this middle piece where you may want to connect a tr truss across the side, but obviously you've got a piece in here that's going to get in the way. Do you want to do a shorter one that's in here? Do you want to put them around it? Whatever. I mean, you've got some decisions to make, right? But the important thing is, is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to right click on this part and I'm going to choose. It doesn't allow me to choose that. Let's try this again. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try something else and let's go up here and let's go to construct and see if it lets me do a mid plane. And I want to do a mid plane that's halfway across this beam. So here we go. Ready? From, oh, you know what I'm going to do first? I know I can make this easy. I'm going to click on the light bulb and hide that. There you go. See, now I can really easily get to that. Okay, so let's try this again. Ready? Construct a mid plane between here. And can I grab that far surface? Looks like I'm going to have to switch around here. Wow, really zoomed in. And right there. Okay, now I have a mid plane halfway across my bridge, right? And the really nice thing about the mid plane, I'm going to click OK to keep that. The really nice thing about my mid plane, now i got to make sure that I show that 60 inch beam again. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. That was from a different video. 60 inch beam. There we go. There's my completed trust. The really important thing is all those are showing now. And I can come up here and I can create then a mirror. And what I want to mirror is not faces, but components. And the components that I want to mirror include this one, this one, this one, four. Oh, there we go. I included those. I made those the wrong way. Those are all one component according to this. So highlight them all. The mirror plane that I would want would be right here. Click OK. And how about that? You have your entire bridge almost created with one easy step, right? So you would just need to go in and add the rest of the cross beams, which would be really, really simple. And you would have your entire bridge built in Fusion 360 in just a matter of minutes. Hopefully this video makes sense. Hopefully you find it useful. The great thing about this is, again, we can use the inspect tool and we can do all sorts of things like, oh, look, I need a 21 and a half inch beam here. I'm going to need a, uh, oh, let's click off this, let's go here. I'm going to need a 33 inch beam here, right? You can do all of your creation and know all of your measurements simply from building in Fusion 360. So there you go. If you have any questions, find me in class. Let's get going on this project. 